Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Mini, your true and welcome back to Skyrim, where you join me on a bit of a rainy day here in Skyrim. In right, I'm not sure if we're technically even in Falkreef anymore. Let's have a quick look at the map here. So we're up here, and yeah, we might technically be just inside the White Run area instead. We've got a few bits and pieces to do around here. We've got to, yeah, finish off the hunt. We need to go hunt a werewolf. I think I'm, wait, am I even still right now wearing the flipping ring that's supposed to basically turn me into, uh, yeah, I've still got a cursed ring. The game says I might turn into a werewolf at any point. I'm not sure I believe the game, because I'm a vampire lord, so I'm not sure I actually can anymore, but we'll see about that. I have no bloody clue. We just go and do that, and then while we're in the area, we've got some work to do for the folk crew people, because I want to be friends with them. Let's make myself thane of literally everywhere, because why the bloody hell not? Hunting party just around the corner from there, and then a bandit camp next to a mine. Now, a mine's convenient, because I kind of need a mine for a bit of, well, mining, actually. So probably, let's just start off where we are here. Need to make my way to a cave just around the corner, and from there, yep, begin the hunt. Now, it sounds like there's going to be other people also after this werewolf, but I'm sure that's going to be 100% fine. Here we go. Pretty close by to it already. Might be right flipping here. Should be coming across the bloated man's grotto. All right, here we are. So, hunt to begin, werewolf to kill. Potentially, some other people also will need to be taken down. Let's go do this for her scene to get rid of the cursed bloody ring. We're going into normal cave for the time being. Right, okay. Just for safety, let's get some Aura Whisper going on here. Right. One person down there. Alright, but are you friend or foe? So whatever you are, I think you're currently facing away from me. Oh. Okay. Begin the hunt. Potentially we're not murdering anyone just yet. Might be oh. Okay, this is cool. I like this though. A really cool indoor glade thing. I think I've done this quest once before, but I can't remember it. Right, join the hunts. Detected, but it's fine. Now, who do I need to join the hunt with exactly? Who's who am I joining the hunt with? Because wait, hang on, there was there was someone right flipping. Oh, hang on. Yes, there is someone here. I just walked straight past them. Hello! So, you're Jakir and you're not looking so hot. Has the Blood Moon called you, fellow hunter? I'm not sure what actually that means, but are you like a werewolf or something? The prey is strong. Stronger than the hunters. But more will come. Bring him down for the glories of Lord Hirsin. Okay, so sending needs to be killed. Gotcha. Have a quick look. See, okay, here's your problem. You showed up with iron weapons and leather stuff, all right? I haven't made that mistake, so I'm going to be fine. Let's just quickly shove on Amulet of Talos here, because, yeah, I want to be using Vast to detect this here werewolf, because if I can sneak up on him, that, in fact, actually, he's, he's really bloody close. Or the quest marker is... Right, okay. Where's that? Nope, that's just a bat. It's fine. Look, you're letting me down here. You're letting me down, flipping glass. There he is. Right, okay. Right, well, I've got a plan now. How would you like a nice, silent soul tear level three right into you? And, oh, wait, wait, hang on. Wait for the aura. There we go. And that should do... Okay, that didn't do that much. It did something, but yeah, apparently he's pretty bloody tough, all things considered. Right, well, in that case, I think I know what we might need to be thinking about. Because if he's going to be a werewolf, how about I be a vampire lord and we test these two things against each other? That sounds kind of fun. Oh, we've got flipping treasure on the way as well. Marvellous. I'll just take some extra free gold. Thank you. He's on the move. Right. I feel like potentially he's leading me somewhere. Alright. I might be walking straight into it. Oh, no. More hunters. Okay, so we've got a few people. Ah, you brought better stuff. Didn't work out for you, but you know, you did. Ah, you see, there's your problem. Flipping longbow and iron arrows. You guys didn't really deserve to win. Right, so let's do this. Vampire Lord, lovely. Now, I'm already floating. 
Do I actually want to have... Yeah, I'd say probably... Not bats. If I want to have a secondary ability, it's probably... No, hang on. That's... What's, what counts as secondary ability? No, Corpse Curse is fine for the left hand. And then probably Vampiric Sight for the other. I'm not sure whether he'll be paralyzable. I imagine he'll probably resist it. But screw it. Let's just go on our way here. Find ourselves a flipping werewolf. Oh, there he is. Sorry, he actually snuck up on me while I was looting. Right, just here we can. Just get him. And he's not doing so hot. Okay, he resists that. Okay, but can I actually hit it? Oh, that's not doing much, by the way. That's not doing much at all. Though the advantage is I am getting my health back at the same time. I think I've got the health to actually take this for the time being. But I have been told in the comments, yeah, while Serana's with me, my blood magic's weirdly weaker. And no one was quite clear whether that was supposed to happen or not. So I can probably out-tank him just because... Also, where the bloody hell is Serana? Like, she was here and now she's just naffed off. So I guess we can win this just by virtue of, yeah, I'm actually healing fast enough and I'm fast enough running away from his attacks that I'm getting held back faster than he can dish it out. So technically this is actually working. Oh yeah, I'm seriously tanky as vampire lord. I love it. Right, prepare to die. Just excuse me. Give me some health back please. Thank you. Right, where's bloody Serana? I wouldn't mind having a bit of magic as backup if she wouldn't mind actually like showing up at some point. No? Doesn't feel like it at all. No, alright, fine, whatever. Well, in that case, me and you can just stand next to each other doing vampire-y and werewolfy things. And I'll win, because screw you, you stupid loser. Actually, if corpse thingy doesn't work, I may as well get myself a gargoyle friend to help out here. Gargoyle friend. There we go. Oh, gargoyle friend's working way better. And he's almost gone. I should probably get the killing blow. Lovely. Vampire perk progress done. Also, I need to skin him. I'm going to guess vampire lords can't do that. Uh, yeah, I have been... Actually, maybe he just had really high magic resistance. I think blood magic counts as magic, so it's magic resistance that counts in terms of how much damage you do. So, yeah, I potentially just need to dismiss Serana. Then I might be able to do much, much better, actually. So, we'll have to see about that. Right. Probably revert at this point. Back to humans, because vampires can't skin animals. There we go. Go! And back to how I should be. He's all a bit empty right now. So sort that out. Tear the skin from his body. You've done well, Hunter. And I've done as you asked, my good man. And found my favour. That skin will serve you well, child. Look more closely at it. My glory shall protect you from all this world's grievances. Good hunting. Okay, so now I've got... The skin's been removed, the curse ring's gone, but I've got the saviour's hide. Right, so that's a bit of armour, I assume. Hang on, let's have a little look at that. Magic resistance by 15%, poison resistance by 50%. That's okay. That's okay, but I think I can do better than that. It doesn't really suit me. I mean, like, I suppose it stacks pretty well with being a Breton. So if you stack that together with, say, the, what is it, the, is it the Apprentice Stone? Whichever the stone I've got, the one that gives you the extra magic, I think that's absorption, actually. And then the magic resistance of a Breton. I can see how those would go together nicely. But I'd rather have loads of extra magic regen off the Vampire Run, which is also better already, just in terms of damage resistance. Also, I'm just going to quickly nip to the end of this area just to check he wasn't, like, guarding a big werewolf chest of werewolf goodies or something. Because he might have been. No, just a couple more corpses with some generic and interesting loot on them. And then you get back down to the camp at the beginning. Fine, nothing major. Let's be on our way. Job done. Oh, Another kid. there's Serana. I've spent enough time underground myself, but if you want to go in, I'm right behind you. Right, possibly you're just not allowed to companion in that section, or she just fell behind for some reason. Alright, fine, whatever. Right, on to the next. I think the next is the the hunting party, where we were warned the guys were hunting bears, then went missing. So, yeah, I'm guessing it's bears. Should just be a case of heading east, cutting south when the opportunity presents itself through the pass there. Should be, yeah, right about there, should be fine. Oh my goodness, we've got flipping vampire hunters here. Well, screw you, vigilance. No, 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 no. None of that, thank you, but I'll take all your stuff, some of which is very valuable indeed, actually. I'll take your amulets and your clothes and whatever. Nice. Right, so, 
We do have some bloody flipping vampire hunters after us now. Dear oh flipping dear. Ah, and perfect. The actual path I need to follow to cut through the mountains is actually uh, signed. Has a little road on it. Very, very good indeed. And someone else on the road. Are you also planning to murder me? Because if you are, I'll murder you first. Nope, you seem to be friendly. Hello! What's your deal? You're Faldrus. Shrine of Azura. Oh, I've been there! I'm actually her champion! Right, well, live and let live. I'm totally fine with him just being around. That's cool. Now we've got ourselves... Ah! I'm going to guess the party went into a cave full of bears then. Yeah, probably. Though actually also very close by to this cave, there's a... A house of some description, so potentially they might have stopped off whatever this place is first. So, yep, I see the light coming up it right there. Let's just nip up top here, see so we can figure out. Possibly they might have... Oh, if I can just... Flipping... There we are, scaring my way up the ledge. Right, Hunter's Rest. Now, is anyone actually here or... No. It is literally just a little free. Oh, never mind. There are some people here. Right, just Hunter and Hunter. Fine, so you'll probably just, like, uh, sell me some meat if I wanted to. But honestly, I think I'm fine. Nice little spot for a nice campfire. Bit of cooking or whatever. No, I think we're good. Right, in which case, straight on to what I'm assuming is a cave full of bears where they went hunting over here. Yep, here we are. Moss Mother Cavern. And I don't see much in the way of trouble around here. Oh, hello! You! Over here, please! I need help! Right, I'm gonna guess that the rest of your I'm team's sure trapped inside own. that cave then. Thank Kinnereth for you, stranger. I'd almost given up hope of walking away from here. Okay, so you're Valdir, and what exactly. Serana, you're, you're getting in the. Okay, Ser. Bloody hell, Serana, not now, there's bloody company. Right, what are you doing out here exactly? We tracked a bear to this den. Good coin for those pelts. We had the big sow cornered when they showed up. Three of them, out of nowhere. Spriggins. Niels went down before we even knew to run. Ari died just inside. I never even thought the things were real. I may have lost a drop or two of blood. Truth is, I'm not going anywhere like this. Ah, hurts to breathe. Right, so first things first, let's actually... Ooh, no, I have loads of spells. Good, I know plenty of spells. Thank you. Please hurry. Okay, no problem at all. Let's just quickly sort this out. Right, healing hand should do the job. And that... Oh, wow, you were barely even hurt, you massive wuss. But now what? I can't just walk away. Not with my friend's bodies in there being torn apart by those beasts. Look, let me help you. I'll sort it out and kill the spring. It's not really that tough. You'd do that for a stranger? I don't know what to say. Lead on, I suppose. Okay, is he actually getting involved? Uh, yep, looks like he actually wants to follow me around. So now I have got myself multiple companions. Although, Serana, are you... Wait. Serana, are you okay? Wait, what? Uh, get out of the way. Serana, why are you just on the ground? Do you also need it? Oh, no, you're undead. You resist healing hands. Right. Okay, um... Are you just going to chill out there because you're having a strop because I'm travelling around with Voldir for a... Okay, you just stay there and try not to bleed out or whatever, alright? I'm going to go deal with some Spriggans. Vass. Right. Wick, Vass, and I see the Spriggans up ahead. Lovely. In fact, actually, I see all of them. Oh, and Serana decided she can be bothered to show up. Nice. Right, there's one over there. Just quickly toss in the Dramora Lord to get the attention. And now weird filters going on. Let's get in there and... Ooh! And you brought the bear back. That's cool. I like that. Right, Spriggan Earth Mother going down nice and fast. Lovely. Number one. And yeah, saron has got us a pet bear. Awesome. And now we've actually got ourselves some living bears. Nice. Except that one's naffing off, understandably. Right, toss something else in over there. Conjuration creeping up. Lovely. She just head over... Okay, there was just a weird... 
Did that just actually summon someone? Yes, yes it did. He just ran ahead really, really bloody fast. Right, so there's one of the corpses we need to like rescue or save or whatever. There's Neil's, lovely. So I've got the money off his corpse, so don't worry about that. You probably weren't worried about that, but just in case you were. Right, so number one, bear needs to go down. Lovely. Number two, Earth Mother. Now, he said there were three of these things, so that's fine. Just stop hiding inside a tree. I can't bloody see you. Particularly confusing because you are a tree. Now, to my mind, it would be appropriate, obviously, if actually, you know, a bear helped us take down the Earth Mothers. Oh, actually, where's the last one? Right, there's you three. You said three of them. Where's the... Oh, hang on, is there... Is there one? Yep, thought there might be. Well, that's just a normal Spriggan, so I've just... Oh, I've just flippin' stabbed you. Nice. It's done, then. Justice, if you can call it that. Look, I want you to have this. I know it isn't much, but it's important to me. Ari gave me this dagger when we first started hunting together. I always said it brought her luck. You should be the one to carry it now. I'll give them a proper burial, then head back. Come find me if you're ever in Falkreath. You'll always be welcome at my door. Nice! Got a new flipping friend in uh, Falkreath now. Very, very good indeed. And that's a chest up there. Hang on, some more loot as well. I want to have a look at his dagger, because that sounds like a special dagger. Might be like a unique enchantment on it or something. Ooh, free potion and stuff. Eh, not much to be honest, just yeah, the gold, but a circuit of alchemy will be worth selling at least. So, Von Deer's lucky dagger, that's steel, isn't it? Yeah, that's steel, 25% chance of critical hit, but to be honest, that base damage is just... That's just appalling, isn't it? Yeah... I might keep it just as a memento, but we're definitely not actually using that. Right, so from here, now I need to head... What's the best way to get up there? I'm not sure. The path up there isn't obvious. Possibly just going directly might just be fine. Though actually it looks like maybe... If I try and go to about here... Yeah, go to the custom destination about there. That looks like that'll be the easiest way to get up this hill. Make it over to this here mine. Right, over in this direction then, and then, yeah, just work my way down here. Couple of bears, but that's fine. I can take care of them pretty easily. Nice, simple pacify. We can just basically bypass the bears without a big problem. Hello up there, Mr. Bear. You're going to be nice and calm, aren't you? Yes, yes, you flipping are. You just stay calm over there. Animage, high level illusion keeps you out of trouble. Actually, in all fairness, this area looks pretty flat. I think I just run there directly. But I'll head over to my marker just on the off chance that it turns out to be a bit steeper than I'm expecting. So, right over to here. I've already been to a camp over there. Ah, that must be one of the camps I visited when I was killing everyone for... Was that for Boethia? I think that was for Boethia, if I recall correctly. Right, straight up the hill here. Looks like I've got pretty much a straight shot at this here mine. Yep, lovely. And nothing much in the way either, actually. Seems pretty quiet and calm around here. Ah, there we go. Right. So, we've got a view over the mine right up here. Now, who do we have in terms of people I might be able to get a frenzy on, say? Because the moment I see bandits, I kind of want to frenzy them. It is very tempting to try and just frenzy every single bandit going. Interesting, they've built a watchtower, or rather taken over a watchtower, but no actual... That's a person, isn't it? Is that a person? I think that's a person. Bass. Right, give us a quick vas. Yeah, that's a person. Right, okay. One up there then. And that should be one angry person who's going to start attacking everyone else. Uh, so he's going to now start running around and causing trouble for everyone. Lovely. Shouldn't be able to find me though. I should be very, very well hidden indeed. Right, where's the actual entrance? Looks like it might be over here-ish. Right, sneak going up as well, because I'm being not found. So those two are going to fight each other for the time being, and that should give me an opening to come in here and hit both of them. No, I need a proper double-charged one, please. Ooh, one of them killed the other. Right, okay. Where's the survivor? Where's the survivor, and where's someone else? Never mind, no one around right now. That's okay, give myself a quick vas. I'll be able to see them. Oh, they're going for each other over there, aren't they? Yep. Right, let's just keep everyone... No, don't go in! 
don't. You're ruining the sneakiness. Oh, fine. Whatever. Right, let's just quickly send in some more stuff over there. Right, well, you're angry and you're a marauder. Serana's in there these days, so that's fine. Oh, I think you're coming this way, aren't you? Nope, I'm pretty sure Serana's basically just drawn his attention. Well, that's fine. Right, in we go. Yeah, Serana's just taking care of that for me, so I can just get on with looting for potions and whatnot. Good old potions I'll never use for anything. Right, also we've got another... Ah, there's another one here. Well, that's... Okay. Oh, I think he just... No, I killed him. Right, I thought he killed me. Well, that's fine then. And you are... Hang on, what? Oh, no, sorry. You're a dead one who's been brought back. Sorry, my mistake. Actually, you're right. That would be kind of hilarious. Let's both have flipping uh, actual bandits following us around. Let's just get the entire bandit crew working for us. And lockpick goes up to... Ooh, scroll of mayhem. That's actually quite useful. And level up to... Very, very nice indeed. So, further up we go. Mine entrance must just be up here somewhere. And yeah, I've got to kill literally everyone to fulfil the contract with the Jarl. Now, he said nothing about bringing them back later in order to convert them into my undead army. That is totally 100% fine. Ooh, diamond in there. Nice. Yep, nice day, actually dawn, so probably time for me as a vampire to get inside. But first, let's level up and give myself some more flipping magic. Magic is good. Right, I've got flipping three perks if I wanted them at this point. Uh, you're at 75, which I don't think does anything. That's... Yeah, that's just cast apprentice level for half magic. That just seems like a waste to me at this point. So I've got so much magic, I can just kind of do it anyway. Bound weapons, banish, summon, turn, raise. No, I've got the spells to do that already. So that's fine. This is undead, 100 points more health. I can deal without that, to be honest. Illusion is fully up for the time being. Until such time as... What's actually left? Expert and then master for half magicka. And illusion spells work and undead daedra. Honestly, I'm probably pretty much done with Illusion in that case. I feel like it's pretty much as powerful as I ever need it to be. No, what I should probably do instead is actually save up some perks. Because at some point in the near future, I need, yeah, I need a perk for smithing to get that up. And I also need... Ah! I actually need potentially two perks for enchanting. Fine. Save the perk because I actually need these perks down the line for my next set of armor crafting. Let's get in here and finish off these bastards. Right, quick vas, what are we looking at? Ah, we've got someone to take out down there. Potentially, ooh, potentially just one person. Okay, that's of interest. Uh, right, you guys all stay here. Serana, stay here. If it's just one person, I'm gonna go into badass mode and see if I can just assassinate them. Here we go. One person right flipping there. Right, ebony dagger, get the muffle out too. Stack that with some nice silence. So just, here we go. Vass. And a quick vas. Here we go. Let's go do this. Oh, yep. Yeah, right. Perfect. Down we go. Down we go. Down we go. Down we go. Oh, that's the thing. Sneak attack. Leader dead. Now, what was the deal with you? And why exactly? There's the key. Very nice. There's some gold. Now, why precisely was the Jarl doing deals with you? And what exactly did you do to annoy him? Well, we've got a chest here we can crack open with a key. Glass maze, just a bit of gold. Nothing major. I wonder if there's more to the story here. Like, we can learn something about this guy that tells us something about some of the dealings the Jarl was doing. Just, uh, no, nothing too much there. Ah, a leak! That's the source of his powers. Got it. Now, what's actually this mine for? Ah, it's oraculum. Fine. So that's not actually that useful because I can't actually convert that into silver or gold. No, I actually need more of a traditional mine. I need the sort of mine that's just got, you know, like iron in it. Really nice basic stuff. That's just, ooh, armor's challenge. No, sadly, I've read that somewhere else. That's a shame. Tons of pickaxes just floating around, understandably. Now, what's the deal with down here? Nothing, really. It's just a single room absolutely full of flipping oraculum, which is fine. That's nice. This is, oh, I thought that might be a flipping uh, secret trap door, but no, it's just some wooden planks. No, nothing of any note down here. Just literally one bandit and a few of his guys outside. Okay. Nothing special. Let's be on our flipping way. Yep, now my vampire blood is indeed 
boiling. So, need to figure out what we're doing here. What have we got there? That's just... Right, he was producing iron stuff even though there's no iron here. That's just bloody impressive. Problem is, I do actually need a flipping mine. And yeah, actually, over here, I know for a fact Knife Point Ridge does have a good mine attached to it. Because I've been there before. So I might just actually nip back there now, just for the sake of the mining. Right, bunch of rocks just coming down the hill. That's fine. Oh, you're a basic bandit. Oh, this isn't going to work out well for you. Oh no, these guys are being leveled to much lower. Oh guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> Truly I am, but you're a bit screwed now. Right, Tremora Lord. Oh, at least I've got one high woman there. But, oh, no, even high women aren't doing that much these days to me. Nice, 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 nice. Right, let's just get in there and have all their stuff off them. Right, that's the top side cleared out, I think. So now, just to clear out the mine. And also to check it's the sort of mine I want it to be. Oh, hang on, aren't you standing on... I think you might be standing on flipping fire or something. Hang on, I swear there's some oil over there. No. 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 Okay, fine, just miss all the flipping oil, whatever. Right, try that again, because I swear he's standing on some oil. There we go, that's nice. Now, toss good old Moira up ahead to take care of him. He'll charge into the fire again, though admittedly it won't do that much to him. But that's fine. Bandit chief up front, take care of you nice and fast. Oh, yeah, lovely, down you go. And I swear I've already got the... Oh, no, maybe I don't. I thought I already had the key for this place. Hang the flip on. Well, presumably you've got the key then. No, but you've got a new staff of paralysis. Should have used that. That's really good. Right, I'll take that and sell it. Or maybe sell my old one because... Ooh, those are really good actually. Yeah. Right, secret room back here. Iron ore vein. Nice. And one Imperial forced to work in here against as well. And uh, one pickaxe. Good. Needed the pickaxe. Thank you for just teleporting backwards, by the way. That's actually pretty... Okay, then you teleport in the way again. Marvellous. There's... Oh! Right. This place used to be more flipping open. But unfortunately, yeah, the dungeon that is attached to this place just closes off when you're actually done with the main quest. Well, that's fine. Because I've got an idea for how to speed this up. And I'm now a blood-starved vampire. Any chance I could just, like, drink this guy's blood while I was... No. Sadly, it's got to be alive. Even very recently dead doesn't count. Right. One pickaxe, and now I've got a plan. Elemental Fury, which apparently I've got, like, all the stages of. So go on, then. Air Battle Grace. Now, if I do this... Presumably... Hang on, I actually need to set the thing. Don't forget to actually, you know, bloody set it and everything. Elemental Fury... Now, if I do this, I should be swinging this pickaxe at ludicrous speed. So, just quickly check whether... Ah, here they all are. Right, so, go. Right, go, go. Oh, my goodness, yes. Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, I love it. I absolutely flipping love it. Right, go, go, go. Mine, 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 mine. Right, try it again. Charge it and boom, boom, mine, 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 faster. Where's more mining? Go, go, go. Additional mining. Go, 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 go. Oh, this is brilliant. Oh, that's amazing. This is a really, really good shout for people who don't want to do any enchanting whatsoever. Oh, that's really fun. Right, so that's a big old pile of iron ore, but no smelter here as far as I can see. But probably the chest has regenerated some stuff. Now, take flipping 59 gold and a greater soul gem. Sure, that's all fine. So, time to move on. Ooh, glass warhammer. Pretty valuable, actually. Uh, yeah, time to move on. I need to find a bigger mine, because, yeah, unfortunately, that one is now shut off, so I can't actually use most of it. Now, Soljun sinkhole, I believe that's a... Yeah, that's a gold mine, unfortunately. Then there's... Ah, there's a couple of mines. Ah, left-hand mine by Markarth. I think that might actually be a just traditional iron mine. And no one seems to mind me going in at night. Marvellous. And we've got ourselves... Yep. Iron ore. Nice. Don't like those eyes you got. There's a bad hunger to them. Oh, bad hunger to them, you say. Well, odd you should say that. Um, Would you mind just maybe facing away from me for a second? Also, I'm over capacity. Hang on, just need to drop some stuff. 
Now, just a nice bit of vampiric seduction, assuming you're nice and low level, which I hope you are. And now just a quick kiss to the back of the neck. Hey, I didn't ask you to magic me. And now I can probably feed on him. And is he going to object to that? Y you okay with that? Yeah? Yes. Nice. Okay, he's totally okay with it. Good. So I'm just going to feed on him one more time just to make sure everything's okay. Now, am I back to normal? Do you need to feed once? Yeah, I think I'm 100% back to normal because I don't actually have uh, vampire seduction. That comes in at like vampire level one. So that's okay. You should all be fine now. Right, so now I've got an absolute flipping ton of iron ore. And that's good, because using my very, very rarely used transmute abilities, I can now convert all of that into gold ore. So, just go, and just go, and just go, and just go, and... There's just a torch here, there's a... Okay, also there's a guard, an invisible guard intriguing. I'm not sure what killed you. Possibly a vampire attack at some point. I think there was one here. Right, just keep flipping going and silver ore and gold ore and silver ore and gold ore. Lovely. And this here would be an excellent time for some of those potions I just basically hold on to forever and never flipping use. Yes, yeah, super fast magic regen. Nice, that'll flipping do. And my alteration's creeping up while I do this too. Okay, no more ore that can be transmuted. Good. So that should leave me with a giant pile of gold ore. So to the smelter. And now, if I'm right, gold ingot 18. Gold ingots. Nice. Right, back to Whiterun. Time to remind myself, what do I need to actually create with all this stuff? What jewels do I need? I've got, well, I can make myself three gold diamond rings immediately. Well, that's just flipping marvellous. And go on, if I'm also carrying emeralds and flawless stuff, very good. And rubies and, oh yeah, there we are. That's going up nice and quickly. Gold sapphire rings, you say? That strikes me as a good thing. I've also got, apparently I'm just carrying some silver ingots too. So go on then. Why flipping not? So yeah, next up, if I want to make more gold stuff, I'm going to be needing gold. Yeah, I'm going to need diamonds. I'm not going to have much in the way of diamonds, to be honest. But I need, yeah, emeralds, other jewels like that, rubies, but only flawless rubies. Right, remember that. If I've got flawless rubies, emeralds, or sapphires, that would all do the job. Basically, anything flawless, emeralds and sapphires. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure I've got plenty of that in my house. Here we are on this here end table I've been saving. Oh, yeah. Thought I'd been saving quite a bit of stuff. Lovely. And also two gold ores for no reason, too. I'll have them. There's some rubies. Spot on. But not much in the way of flawless, to be honest, which may be a problem. Also, I'm... Oh, this is where I've just been storing all of the stuff I made that makes me better at sneaking. <laughs> Just in case I ever need it for something, because no shops had enough money to actually buy the damn stuff. Actually, no, none of that's useful, because even the flawless garnet doesn't actually work with the gold. Well, that's fine. I guess we'll just make ourselves the... That doesn't make much diff... Ah, that's kind of annoying. I'd probably be better off making silver stuff, but no. Sadly, no chance of that. Right, so as it turns out, we're going to need... Quite a bit more gold yet, if I want to hit that very crucial 60. Hmm. Hang on. Someone... Oh, bloody hell. Who's a blacksmith trainer in this game? It's not you, is it? No, I think it's the... Is it the guy in Windhelm? I think it might be. Oh, wait. I've just remembered who is a flipping... That's not how you hold a broom, but all right, good attempt. Um, I've just remembered who is actually a flipping smithing trainer. It's what's-his-face Greymane with the compan- All right, fine. I guess we're joining the companions then. It's literally the second miscellaneous quest we were ever given. Marvellous. Now, I'm gonna be honest. In general, werewolves aren't so keen on vampires, so we just won't mention the vampire thing. And maybe don't stand in dark rooms, because Serana's eyes do sort of, like, glow. In fact, actually, they kind of glow even in the daylight, because she wears the stupid hood. Right, this isn't going to go well, is it? 
Right, a couple of people just whacking each other in the face. Don't worry about that. We don't need to worry about that in the slightest. Let's just go down here and go find the guy who runs the companions. And here he is, the man whose name I've forgotten because it's been so long since anyone mentioned it to me. And generally, I don't do the companion quest. I don't really enjoy being a werewolf. Being a vampire is much more fun anyway. Right, Codlight White Mane, let's have a chat to you. Do I look like a companion by any flipping chance? Here, let me have a look at you. Yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. Master, you're not truly considering accepting her. I am nobody's master, Vilkas. And last I checked, we had some empty beds in your Vasker for those with a fire burning in their hearts. Apologies. Thought perhaps this isn't the time. I've never even heard of this outsider. I'm the cooking dragonborn, and also the fade of multiple holds, and also I'm the king of the magicians. How have you not heard of me? How are you in battle, girl? I am pretty sure I can handle myself, actually, Codlack. That may be so. This is Vilkas. He will test your arm. Alright, time to follow Vilkas outside of- Okay, yes, yes, I know you've got boobs. You don't need to shove them in my face twice in the same conversation. So I'm pretty sure I need to complete this first step and just be a member of the Companions before I'm allowed to actually speak to... What's his face? Eolard? Whatever his name is. Eoland, I think, Greymane, upstairs. Then he can train me in smithing and that'll speed things up. The old man said to have a look at you. So, let's do this. Let's do this indeed. Sword out. That's not a sword! Now, my big concern is potentially I'm actually a little bit too strong for him. So I kind of hope I'm not. Otherwise, this could go wrong. So if I accidentally kill him, just because I've got such a powerful weapon and also a big enchantment on it. Well, hopefully, this is fine. Also, Ayla, you're going to want to not stand too close. Because if I accidentally hit you, you're going to object. I know. Okay, fine. Whatever. We'll just be careful. May as well show him what we've actually got here. So one power attack. Nice. We don't do that Oh, right. I'm not allowed to use an enchanted sword. Um, okay. What have I got that's not enchanted? This is unfortunately all I've got that's not enchanted. So here we go. There we go. Like the bite of a flick. Well, it's because I'm using a pickaxe. Not bad. Next time won't be so easy. You might just make it. But for now, you're still a wealth to us. But... So you do what we tell you. Here's my sword. Go take it up to Yorland to have it sharpened. And be careful. It's probably worth more than you are. I have about 35,000 gold in savings on my person right now. And I own, I think, four houses. Alright? Seriously, shove off. Right, up to Yorland Grey Main up here. Here's the sword. Hello there. I've been working on a shield for Aeola. My wife is in mourning, and I need to get back to her soon. I'd be much obliged if you could take this to Aeola for me. Oh, go on then, sure. I'm happy to lend a hand. Well done. Right, so now take Aeola her shield. She'll be around here somewhere too. She was just outside a second ago, so if I'm lucky she'll still just be outside now. Or has she naffed off? No, of course now she's naffed off. And Ayla is apparently in one of these rooms. Here we are. Found her. Hello, Ayla. Isgrimor himself wouldn't have the patience to deal with all the rabble around here. That's lovely. I've also got your shield for you. Ah, good. I've been waiting for this. Good to see you made it up here. You know this one? I saw her training in the yard with Vilkis. Ah, yes. I heard you gave him quite a thrashing. Don't let Vilkis catch you saying that. Do you think you could handle Vilkis in a real fight? Yeah, because the only reason I didn't basically murder him was because he did this whole, Oh, you can't use magic. We don't use magic on tip. Well, I'm sorry. When you're out in the field, if someone's using magic, you're just going to have to bloody deal with it. Ha! Ah, a woman who lets her actions speak for her. I knew there was something I liked about you. Here, let's have Farkas show you where you'll be resting your head. Farkas. Did you call me? Of course we did, Ice Brain. Show this new blood where the rest of the whelps sleep. New blood? Oh, I remember you. Come on, follow me. 
And now we're just being settled into the quarters. Lovely. I think once that's done, I actually get myself to be an official member, and then I can get trained by Yorland Greymane. Good luck. Welcome to the Companions. You know what? I quite like this guy's completely blunt manner. And incidentally, I am probably at some point looking for a new companion who's a little bit more on the big, chunky, meaty, two-handed weapons, big armor side. I can't remember who is and isn't a long-term companion in the Companions, but... Okay, might be worth a thought, actually. Rogue wizards. I've never trusted magic types. The college is bad enough. Destroy them. Okay, I've changed my mind. We're not actually going to be travelling around with Farkas. Right, so at some point, if I feel like it, I can go and take out some rogue wizards. Though, you know, we're not actually going to say all wizards should be destroyed. That would be mean. And we may as well pick up Ayla's quest while we're... Well, of course, she's naffed off immediately. Ah, there's Ayla out back. Lovely. Ayla! Don't you got something for me too. Aren't you already running a job for Farkas? Come talk to me when you finish that up. Ah, fine. It's one job at a time. All right, that's fine. And she is also an archery trainer. Right, now I think that's done. This guy should be able to sell me a few levels in smithing. I find it amusing, however, he's not selling a single thing made of Skyforge steel. <laughs> he's got some steel stuff, but none of it's Skyforge. That's kind of weird. So... Smithing 53, so I can get this straight up to 54, 55, 56. I've got all the money in the world, it's fine. Now, 58, lovely. Now, that's cost me about, oh, I don't know. Uh, about 9,000, 8,000, 9,000 gold. That's fine, I'm swimming in the stuff, that's okay. So, that's now Smithing 58. All right, making progress. That's all I can do this level. Right, I'm gonna need more flipping gold. And if I need more gold, then that means technically I need more iron ore. Right, let's get into some more mines. I know there's some in the halted stream camp. I feel like Serana right now is not helping with the mining, by the way. Like, not at all. A thought occurs. Why am I mining iron ore and then converting it into gold when I know for a fact they're a location of several gold mines I've already explored? That would be much cleverer. Like right here, right by Markarth, where there's a massive flipping, you know, gold mine. I should probably just go and mine that. Or else we can vaguely hear a dragon somewhere that- I don't care! I don't care about you! I'm gold mining, I'm busy! Yeah, this, this is a much easier way to get gold ore, by going to a flipping gold mine. So much gold, so flipping quickly, I love this shout. And if you're wearing the amulet of Talos, by the time the shout wears off, you're pretty much ready to go again, which is beautiful. Yet, yeah, forgotten what a ludicrous amount of gold was just chilling out in this area. So much I'm now Ooh, back over weight capacity. Okay, a massively overweight capacity, so I can't hope that dragon's naffed off right now. Because I need to use the smelter very quickly. Come on, come on, let's, let's get this done, because the dragon might still be around. Right, so this is quite a bit of gold I'm carrying. Luckily, I also picked... <laughs> Luckily, I also picked up a fair few diamonds and whatever, so this should all work out fine. Right, pleasant evening back in Whiterun. To the forge! Back to the jewellery! No, that's leather. Back to the jewellery, and yes indeed. Now this, this should all work at this point. So I've got three diamonds, and yeah, the value just makes that... Okay, I may have gone a bit overboard on the gold bit. <laughs> I may have gone quite overboard on the gold business, in fact. Right, there's flipping 60. And then the rest of this is just all... Right, I guess the rest of this is all just flipping... I may as well just actually produce gold rings. Because then I get myself... Yeah, more stuff I can actually go on to enchant up the hill. Because at this point, smithing's completely relevant. So I may as well just burn it all. 64, good number. Right, lovely. I'm carrying 73 gold rings around. At this point, it's just starting to get suspicious. Now, the big question, do I have enough soul gems to make all of this actually flipping work for me? Because now, I just need to basically start... Oh, I'm almost at 97 already. Uh, right, take that. Now, just slap that flipping fortify sneak, because sneak seems to be the most valuable one of all. And now, just start slapping... Ooh. Okay. I don't have that many, but I do have flipping 19 black soul gems. So, possibly, I should just start using them for something. 
Because as far as I can tell, it doesn't actually make enchanting go up any faster if you, like, use a grand soul gem and create something that's way better. Maybe a tiny bit more? I'm not convinced, to be honest. Like, that's now going to go back down to common here. It doesn't feel like it made a big difference, to be honest. Possibly it made a little bit of a difference. Let's go over to the grand ones. Yeah, that feels maybe a little bit more, but pretty much about the same. Right, 98. And level 51 as well. 99. And with this pickaxe, which I shall turn into a mighty, mighty... Paralyzing pickaxe. Marvelous. Yep, with chance to paralyze for four seconds and one black soul gem from kind of out of everything else. We have hit enchanting one flipping hundred. Oh my goodness, yes, finally. Right, and I've also leveled up quite a bit actually. So let's just keep magic ticking up. Nice. Now, with enchanting 100, which obviously we're not turning into a special skill. Extra effect can put two enchantments on the same item. Oh, yes. And I need Frost Enchanter. Frost Enchanter is very important because, well, actually, I'd rather have... Shock's kind of fun, too. I wouldn't mind having an electrocuting flaming thing. Yeah, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the... That wouldn't be bad at all. That'd be all right. But then, uh... Frost is kind of useful. I kind of like Frost. Frost is nice. But then it kind of feels weird to have a, a sword. I mean, it would be good, because then I could call it the Sword of Ice and Fire. But Shock is... Uh, shock's better in some ways. Ah, but then Stamina's more... No, let's leave it for now. Let's leave that for now. And instead, definitely don't Legendary that. And also, very, very important indeed. Right, over here to Smithing... Because now, I can now improve magical weapons and armor. Oh, yes. Oh, flipping yes. Can I do that to stuff I've already enchanted once, by the way? I'm not sure whether that's true. I kind of assume I can. Item... No! Okay, so the way it works is what? I have to now select, like, two different enchantments? Ah, okay. Yeah, okay, so while I'm enchanting it the first time, I just select two different enchantments. Now... Big question, if I was to take armor, could I actually make the armor... Ooh, right. This has suddenly raised all sorts of interesting questions about my new loadout. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I would say that is enough for now. But we have just made a really, really, really big thing happen there. Now with this, with this new ability to actually improve already charmed armor and whatever, and the ability to put two things, two enchantments on my weapons, oh yes, this, this is going to open up all sorts of ridiculously powerful opportunities. I think we will start off next time by actually crafting myself a brand new set of gear. I think we are well overdue for a brand new set of gear. That will be just flipping marvellous. New armour, new weapons, new flipping everything. Oh yeah, that's going to be good and I'm going to be a lot more powerful. And then we will head south, because if I recall correctly, down in the very south of Falkreef. No, Falkreef is in this direction. There's a whole bunch of stuff I need to do up the side of a mountain up here. Go up to, yep, yeah, Bloodlet Throne and kill a dragon and go to the Ancestor's Glade. So all three of those might be a little bit on the dangerous side. So let's get some brand new equipment and then head up to that. And that's going to be marvellous. And also, I'm kind of thrilled that, yeah, apparently it only takes a... Uh, a single soul gem. You don't need to use two soul gems to put two enchantments. So actually the soul gem, like, it won't be massively intensive. So that's good to know too. So, we will crack on with that Another next time, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. This has been Skyrim. Thank you very much and goodbye. Wait, did people just vote out democracy? Hang on, what have you just done? Oh, go on, let's have the greatest Oktoberfest ever. Yay! Spain and Russia have announced a new alliance as a result of the warmongering of certain Central European countries. Oh, well, excuse me! My leader from now on, no weeklings will stand in the way of this country's path to glory. Oh, God, Germany, not again!